Welcome to My Carolina Today. I'm Belinda Kelly. And I'm Alex Butler. A great show ahead from you. I'm loving this winter weather. Yes. I'm loving it. Okay, holiday drinks. We're talking about the holidays, the uh -huh. winter weather's here, and how to keep your party, <laughs> you know, your guests talking. Yeah, we're going to show you some unique ideas. Also, camping world. If you're going to go out and see America, you need a big old camper. <laughs> and right. camping world's got them. <laughs> Lots of big ones. Okay, yes. <laughs> Monday motivational moment. We'll be telling you how do you know make it through some challenges. We'll tell you about that in our motivational moment. We have new art from Art Space. It's called Clear Sky and Walking by Cynthia Bickley Green. It's lovely, acrylic on canvas. Cynthia has received grants to study color from the National Endowment for the Humanities and to research relations between art and math. I'm gonna have to check that out to see the relation <laughs> between art and math. She is an associate professor at East Carolina University. Her paintings explore after effects in representational and abstract imagery. Super talent. Mm -hmm. Look at that, mm -hmm. those colors, it's so beautiful. pretty. All right, so our question of the day is about body image because a yeah. lot of people have seen Victoria's Secret has this ad that they did basically where they said the perfect body and they show all these what we know as perfect bodies, you know, skinny, you know, then this is the alternate ad that people are putting out now, which is their sort of the challenge to the perfect mm -hmm. body. Mm -hmm. So we're asking people, does it bother you, the initial perfect body? The one that Victoria's Secret put out. Does it send the wrong message? Well, their, the bra, I think, is, is in reference to the bra. Right. Which is called body? I yes, think? body by Victoria. Body by Victoria, right. yes. So they're, so they're saying, saying this is the bra for your body. But they did choose women who all pretty much look the same. Exactly. They're all tall. They're all thin. <laughs> I know. And I mean, I don't have kids, but do you think, like, for your daughter, do you think it? Do you worry about her, like, seeing? I, I mean, certainly do worry. Things like that. I certainly do worry. But I try to just give her positive images and role models all the time. Yeah, so that she doesn't worry about that stuff. So I, that that is my hope. But it's so hard because you see these images everywhere: the billboards, the TV, I know. It, magazine. It's it's everywhere. I know. Trust me. I know. This is why I'm always on a treadmill trying to keep up. But I just <laughs> <laughs> okay. More than sixteen thousand people actually have signed a petition against the perfect body, and yeah. so now all these people are hashtagging hashtag I am perfect just the way I am. So oh wow. Anyway, you can voice on our Facebook page, Erica. Says, snaps I am perfect right I <laughs> love yourself that's love right yourself. I love myself anyway you may <laughs> see I love that song I bought it the first day it came out Kendrick oh Lamar gosh. anyway I digress <laughs> you may see a lot more bearded men this month a few around our building here at that's WNCN right. Gay hey, Rocky hey Rocky but these men are celebrating Movember. Hi, John. And <laughs> Movember. Are guys are our sales staff. Yeah, our, and, and Drew, our producer Drew, who's in our ear right he's now. He's really growing it out. Yeah. He's starting to do his, he's got a whole Hogan thing going on right now. Yeah, but <laughs> men are challenged to grow mustaches to spark conversation and raise money for men's health programs. My Randall said to me this morning, since it's Movember, I think I'll just let it go. So <laughs> Just do it. Just he has a go. nice little nice little goatee, but I said, yeah, just just. He's got to go. get he's got to get the full on Wolverine yeah. going. Didn't Wolverine have one of those? Wolverine had a, had had like a big beard in the last movie. Did he? He did. Ooh, All right. Well, okay. speaking of Wolverine, <laughs> that was my transition. <laughs> the best thing that happened on Halloween was Wolverine dancing like Beyonce. You gotta oh. see this. Wolverine, this guy in New York, broke it down on this video <laughs> as Beyonce. Look at him, working it. It's gone viral. Millions of views. Can you just imagine Beyonce in a Wolverine costume? He's with a got cig it! And he's got a cigar in his mouth. What in the well, world? Good. He studied the video, right? clearly. <laughs> wow. It's a man. It's a man. I saw it close up. Sasha Fierce in the building. Yeah. That's a man. Uh, 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 he uh, is working. Yeah, I can't do any of that. But anyway, that made my entire Halloween. Whatever you were doing on Halloween, <laughs> this was like icing to the cake. Oh love God. it. So cool. Love it. Barbie. Yes. You love Barbie. I do. Don't you? you do, do you not? Did you ever? I, yeah, I like Barbie. Did you ever have like a Barbie? Her. Did you have a Barbie stage in your childhood? I liked Barbie. But I was never, you know, crazy over the top about okay, Erica, Barbie. Okay, Erica, Barbie? Barbie, she hands Barbie. up. If, put your hands up. Mm -mm. Okay, well, if you love Barbie, or uh -huh. you've ever dreamed of living in a Barbie world, which I have to do it. I'm a Barbie girl <laughs> in the Barbie world. I'm going to have to send Tom an email. Okay, the Hilton in Buenos Aires, Argentina, has created the world's first Barbie-themed hotel room. The room is covered in pink. It has a 32-inch television oh my running gosh. constant Barbie movies. 
Every father's wow. dream. An internal door leads from the Barbie room to another room for the parents, and the first evidence of the attraction, of course, is that giant Barbie high heel shoe in the hotel lobby. That's kind of cool. I it's think cool. you need to go check it out. And you need to check into that room. I need to get to Buenos Aires first, mm -hmm. but it's $179. At first, I thought that's I can't. That's not bad. I oh, thought, that, is that U.S. dollars? Yeah, or? U.S. Okay, dollars. That's not bad. At first, I didn't think I could afford it. When I first saw it, I was like, this would be fun, but mm -hmm. it's probably one of those, you know, million dollar mm -hmm. things. But turns out you can't afford it, $179. So mm. you just got to afford the trip. Okay. <laughs> it is 5K season, and if you are looking to participate in a race that also doubles as a fundraiser, check out the third annual Kilometers for the Kids 5K, 10K, and One Mile Fun Run. It all takes place November 22nd, beginning at 9 a.m. at the Old Well. The run is hosted by UNC Dance Marathon, which what? raises money for patients and families at UNC Children's Hospital. You can register for the race now by going to uncmarathon.org slash race. And there are prizes for the winners. I don't know how those kids stand up for all that time doing the dancing and dancing. I know. Marathon. It's intense. Props to them. <laughs> all right, speaking of running, does eating a dozen donuts and then going for a five-mile run sound like fun to you? Mm -mm. No, not no. for Velanda. She's like, count me out. <laughs> but for you guys, the Krispy Kreme Chicken Cream Challenge is going on. Registration's open now. February 14th is when it happens on Valentine's Day. It combines running, donut eating, the whole nine yards. So you can just kind of go back and forth, and it's all to benefit the North Carolina Children's Hospital. I love the idea, but just being there and seeing people eating the donuts and then get sick is just <laughs> too much. But it, it's a very cool, cool race. Well, today oh is a celebration of one of America's favorite foods. The, the sandwich! sandwich. <laughs> Yes. Applause, applause. Applause for the sandwich. November 3rd is the birthday of John Montague, the fourth Earl of Sandwich. The 18th <laughs> century knew? English noble <laughs> wanted to eat his meal with one hand during a 24-hour oh, yeah, gambling event. Too. So he instructed his servants to serve him lunch meat between two slices of bread. Guess what? If you live in or near Fayetteville, you can get a free lunch pocket today from Smokey Bones Bar and Grill. The offer is good through Friday, but only at lunchtime. Get details yeah, get at smokeybones.com. Is it far from us? About an hour or 20 minutes, oh, so I'm not too far. If I could get a delivery, I would. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bye.